So you're thinking of moving to Linden, Utah. So well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at Linden. We're gonna do it on the map. So I'll show you where Linden's located in relation to Provo, in relation to the Lehigh area. You know, how long is it gonna to take to get up to the Salt Lake City International Airport? So I'm gonna go through all of that with you. We'll actually take a quick look, a little bit more in-depth look at the real estate market. And I'll share with you why I'm gonna do that uh, on this map tour. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around because Linden is a great area. Uh, limited inventory. It is one of the highly desired areas in Utah County. So stick around for that. We're going to get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and if you'd like to know everything there is to know about living in Salt Lake City, Utah, as well as the surrounding areas like Linden, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Salt Lake City, Utah. Hi, my name's Steve Gilbert. I'm with eXp Realty. My team and I, we get calls and emails every day from people just like you that are looking for help with making their move to Salt Lake City, Utah, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text. You can always schedule a Zoom call with us. The information, it's in the description below. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to Salt Lake City, Utah. So as I mentioned, we're gonna take a look at Linden. We're gonna do it on the map in my computer. So let's get right to it. Here is a look at Linden, Utah. So we are located in Utah County. So we're pretty centrally located between Lehigh and the Provo area, Provo being the major market in Utah County. So here's the area uh, outlined right here in red. You can see we have Provo to the south and from Linden down to the Provo area, it's only about a 16 minute drive. Uh, a couple different options as far as getting down to there. You can take I-15 or you've always got State Street that's gonna take you through the Orem area into the Provo area. Uh, heading into Lehigh, uh, this area up here uh, by the uh, Timpanogos Highway, by Thanksgiving Point uh, from uh, Linden, up I-15, to the Lehigh area is only about 15 minutes. So it's a pretty even uh, drive, whether you're heading north to Lehigh or heading south to the Provo area. As far as the airport goes, if you're heading up into Salt Lake County, whether it's Salt Lake City itself or to the airport, you're gonna be close to a 40 minute drive. And those are always about the same. Uh, there's only about a two minute difference, whether it's the airport or Salt Lake itself. So uh, I-215 belt route is one way to get there, uh, coming down to I-15 all the way down into the Linden area, or you can always, instead of taking the belt route, you've got I-15, couple different options to getting to Salt Lake and getting uh, to the airport. So let's uh, zoom in and show you a little bit closer look at uh, what you're gonna get in uh, the Linden area. Uh, so here's Linden, uh, a nice zoomed in uh, map look right here. On the west side, well, let me zoom out a little bit. There's something that I do wanna point out here. So Linden is going to be a much smaller area geographically. Uh, population wise, we have a lot smaller population as well with only around 12,000 people. So 12,100 is, is the population here. So a small area, uh, um, there's not gonna be um, a large um, inventory of housing as well. We'll talk about that, uh, we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Uh, but uh, what we do have uh, west of the I-15, we don't have any uh, residential real estate. Uh, we do have the Linden Marina. This is one of the marinas for Utah Lake. So if you enjoy kayaking, uh, paddleboarding, getting out and doing things like that, or even putting your boat on the lake, you do have that marina right there. Now, just south of this marina, you do have Vineyard Beach. And so this is uh, uh, a place that you can go and enjoy Utah Lake. It's right at the north end of Vineyard, right where Linden and Vineyard meet. And so on the west side, you uh, you do have uh, some, uh, some commercial buildings. You've got some warehouse space. Uh, you do have a coconut cove. Uh, which is a fun place for kids to go and enjoy hanging out. That's going to be right on the border of Linden and uh, uh, Vineyard as well. So when we cross over I-15, uh, heading over to the east side, uh, most of your shopping is going to be located along State Street. So there's not going to be many shopping options in Linden. Most of the time, you'll be heading down into the Orem area. There's all kinds of grocery stores, restaurants, and shopping in Orem, especially along State Street or you do have the option to head into Pleasant Grove where you will find your grocery shopping as well. Uh, for any um, more major shopping, most of the time you'll head through Pleasant Grove into the American Fork area. And so let's show you what we have here uh, on the north end of Linden. So you can see we do have a Smith. You're gonna cross right out of the border from Linden, hit the Smith's Marketplace, one of your grocery stores. Um, 
that you'll uh, uh, take advantage of here in Linden. As we continue south along uh, the State Street, you'll see that uh, we've got uh, your crumble cookies there. That's a, a fun place, a tasty place to go get a, a yummy cookie there. You'll have your uh, fast food restaurants located um, along this as well. You've got your Walmart Supercenter. That's gonna be one of your uh, larger shopping stores uh, for this area. As we continue south, you're gonna see that uh, we've got uh, the Los Hermanos Mexican restaurant here. You do have the pizza factory. Uh, so if you're in the mood for pizza, great place to go and grab um, some pizza there. You've got your coffee shop right here with the beans and brew. And then just south of that, we have the Linden City Park. And so this is where uh, the aquatic center is, is located. It's where the rec center is located. And Linden does not have uh, a, a real big, large facility for their rec center. It is quite small. It's going to be just kind of reflective of what Linden is as far as being a smaller community. However, here's one great thing about this aquatic center is it has a flow rider so you can go there and you can surf there's a lazy river pool they've got their nice pool with a climbing wall with with a couple of really nice slides there so they've got a really nice aquatic center it's much nicer than a lot of the rec centers out there so uh that's one of the great benefits to it however if you like that big facility uh that rec centers offer in other cities you're not going to find that here but you do have the linden city park which is a nice park it's a large park that you can go and enjoy. Uh, so you've got the Smoking Apple uh, right here. Uh, this is a barbecue restaurant. And most of your restaurants, as you can see, we're following State Street, and that's where you're gonna find the majority of these restaurants and any type of shopping options that you have here. So as we continue continue south and get close to this border of Orem, you can see that we've got the Sweeto Burrito. You've got your Neater's uh, Cafe right here. And so uh, that's a quick look at uh, what uh, shopping options and restaurant options are around. You can see that uh, we are fairly limited in this area. Now you'll see here that we have the Fazari bicycles. And if you watch many of my videos, uh, you've probably heard me talk a lot about mountain biking. It is something that I enjoy doing. I've, uh, enjoy doing that with my son as well. And so Fazari makes a, a kind of a custom mountain bike. It's a great uh, mountain bike uh, that is very popular here in Utah. So considered a high-end uh, mountain bike. Uh, they make other bikes as well, but I'm, for, I'm familiar with the mountain bikes here. And so other parts of um, Linden, we do have a couple of other parks here. Uh, we've got a hollow park right here. Uh, we do have access to the Murdoch um, um Murdoch uh, Canal Trail, which takes you from Lehigh down to Provo Canyon. So you can see here that there's gonna be a couple of different access points. So if you enjoy that paved walkway that you can ride bikes on, just get out and enjoy being outside, you're gonna have those options uh, right there. And so let's talk about real estate real quick. And, and uh, we've got a median home price in Linden of $690,000. And, you know, because of the smaller population and Linden is a highly desired area. And because of that, we don't get a lot of homes that come available. So last year, there were only 74 homes, including townhomes, twin homes that sold over the past 365 days. And so you can see that there's just not much inventory. In fact, just the other day, I was out doing the Orem vlogs. So if you saw that video and I was showing you active homes, when I looked at active under contracts for our neighbor to the south, which is Orem, there were exactly 100 homes available. So you can see that right now there's more homes available in Orem than what sold in all of last year for the Linden area. And so uh, I typically like to come here to show you the homes that are available, but you'll see that, that we've got a $2.5 million home. There's a $5.3 million home. That's on a large six acres. It's a, it's a really big home. It has an indoor a basketball court, but it sits on over six acres. It's over 19,000 square feet. Uh, so that's you know well out of the norm of what you're going to find anywhere in uh, Utah County. Another $1.27 million home. And so I, I didn't want to show you this because it's not very representative of Linden. And so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what has sold in the past year. And this will give you an idea what the prices are going to, to somewhat look like. So here's just a quick look like we typically do on these map tours. And so here's a home for $510,000 that sold. And it was 1,726 square feet. It's a Rambler. Uh, there is no basement with this home. Three bedroom, two bath. When we do take a quick look at these pictures inside, um, you can see it's a nice home here. 
Looks like they have some uh, nice uh, wood floors there. Looks like it's that uh, uh, hand scraped look, whether it's a laminate or like an engineered hardwood, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, the home looks nice. Shows well. Go to the next house here. So as I scroll down, and this is gonna be a home for $645,000 is uh, the sell price here. You see, we've got the third car garage. This is gonna be a larger home, 3,246 square feet, three bedroom, two baths. So we have this unfinished basement uh, built in 2021, newer home, lot size is 0 0.20. And so just to give you a reference as far as uh, median uh, lot size and year built for the Linden area, the, the average year built is 2001. And then our average lot size is 0.36 of an acre. So most of these homes on average are gonna be over a third of an acre. And so just taking a quick look at this home inside, this is gonna be your newer home. Um, so it's got a nice deck out back, got that larger lot, third car garage there. Jumping inside, shows very well, nice fireplace, nice kitchen, that large island with those stainless steel appliances. So again, we've got these uh, laminate wood floors in the home, vaulted ceilings in this uh, uh, main room here for this Rambler home. So here's another home here. Now we're jumping up to $648,500 is what this sold for. Now notice uh, they originally listed at $760,000 and uh, these homes are all within the last year. And we did see this correction over the, over the last year with those interest rate hikes. So a lot of people have to uh, make some adjustments to get their home sold. Obviously that uh, was the case with this with a $112,000 price difference between original list price and the sold price. Uh, but what's your, uh, for uh, the $648,000, uh, 3,272 square feet, five bedroom, three bath, built in 1976. And this is on a half of an acre. So let's take a quick look inside. So a dated home here, uh, you know, it's got some older carpets. It's got the older cabinets in here. It's got the laminate style countertops, it's got some linoleum, you know, stuff that you don't see real often. You can see the, you know, dated uh, paint colors in there, but you know, fireplaces are always fun to see. You know, it's kind of a, a fun little uh, wood storage area right there. So there is a, a certain charm to these older homes. Uh, so if you enjoy stuff like that, you know, these, uh, these wood doors like this, uh, older homes you can find that type of stuff and so look at those carpet colors you, you don't see that every day do you you know and, and one other reason that i'm going into greater depth on this uh, map tour at these homes is because when i go out and show homes on these vlogs uh, i need active homes or homes that have are in backup status and there simply isn't anything available and so i wouldn't have many options to show you however uh, we will have inventory uh, come on the market when it does i will uh, do a vlog tour of of this area in Linden. Okay, so let's come down and take a look at this home. So for $701,000, uh, this was uh, 3,328 square feet, four bedroom, three bath. This was built in 2000. So we're right around that average year built, acre size 0.28 of an acre. And so this, you know, Linden definitely has valley floor, uh, you know, homes that are located on that uh, flat area. Uh, when I when I personally think of Linden, I often think about these homes that are up closer to the hillside, like we see here. You can see the home is located with the mountain in the backdrop there. And so you'll find a lot of that in Pleasant Grove, a lot of that uh, in this Linden area as well. So nice home with granite countertops. They've got uh, nice cabinets, stainless steel appliances. You see those nice uh, laminate wood floors in there. Uh, plantation shutters. So you got that hillside again in the backyard. We've got these vaulted ceilings in this living space right here. So nice fireplace in the family room right here. So a nice home, nice neutral uh, paint colors. Uh, the home shows uh, very well. And so let's uh, let's show you this one last home right here. So for seven hundred and twenty-five thousand uh, dollars, this home uh, four thousand two hundred and fourteen square feet, uh, six bedroom. A three bathroom home built in 1989 and we have a lot size of 0.28 of an acre when we jump inside we've got a rambler style here you can see the, the mountain in the background there so uh, you've got that uh, nice fireplace in the living space 
see if we can hurry and jump to the kitchen real quick. So look at those nice large windows over here. Give you a nice uh, view of, uh, look like the backyard back there. Here's our kitchen right here. So, you know, it hasn't been updated. Looks like it does have Corian tops. It does have some uh, stainless steel appliances. They have updated the flooring in this kitchen to, it looks like a laminate to hardwood floor, but we've got some tile here uh, on the other side of that. So just a quick look in uh, in here to, to give you an idea as far as homes, home prices uh, in the Linden area. So let's, uh, let's talk about the schools real quick. So this is part of the Alpine School District and uh, uh, the Alpine School District has a lot of really great ratings and that's gonna hold true for Linden. So they're not the strongest as we go north uh, into uh, areas like Lehigh and uh, Highland and Alpine. We have our strongest ratings, but uh, you can see here, there's two different schools. So uh, you'll have uh, Tempanogos High School that some of um, uh, some of these areas will go to. We've got an A rating there. And then our other high school is Pleasant Grove High School. So the majority of the high schools will, or majority of areas you'll attend Pleasant Grove High School. So a B plus, that's a, a good strong rating. And then for uh, Linden Elementary, we have an A minus. But the other schools around, you know, you can see here these elementaries, that we've got these we've got these B ratings. So we've got good ratings in the Linden area. Let's take a look at the at the safety crime rating like we always do. Here is Linden right here. And so we're going to be in a safe area. You can see that uh, we've got plenty of green surrounding here and green means safe. Now as we can uh, head further south, you can see into Orem we start to get some different shades. And as we get to these larger cities, uh, areas like the Provo area, that's where we start to see uh, the change in color. Uh, but uh, good uh, low crime in the Linden area, we uh, always enjoy seeing that. And so that's gonna wrap up our uh, tour of looking at uh, Linden, Utah. And so if you're thinking about making a move, uh, whether it's to Salt Lake City or to any of the surrounding areas like Linden, like we looked at today, you know, if it's in nine days or 90 days, uh, give us a call, shoot us a text, you can always uh, schedule a Zoom call with us. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to Salt Lake City, Utah. And until then, I hope to see you around town.